Good morning, everybody. I'm picking up my load. Just gotta throw my tarps over it and head on down the road. We're going from Western Ontario, around the Kenora area, down to Brainerd, Minnesota. It's a beautiful trip, and you know it. Another gift wrapped up from Minnesota. Now oh, what's going on down here? What's going on here? Why is this so why is this so funny? Why, why you look so funny here? Let's see, let's see. Pull that under there. Come on now. Come on, get under that. Under that there. Come on. Why are you not doing what I want you to do? Oh, I see. I see. Okay, well. Hmm. There we go. Well, there we go. Okay. Why does the front look so funny? Why does it look funny? Really? What's going on here? Maybe this needs to get off of here. Need to be pulled further like this way. This way. Put that one there. What in the world's going on here? Okay, so usually I'd pull it underneath there, but there is a piece of dunnage there. That's what's happening. Okay. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Yeah, there's no way we're going to make it by 4.30 now. Not a chance. Well, it's okay. We'll unload first thing in the morning then. We'll take our time a little bit more today then. It was, it was sweater weather when I started, but now it's definitely not sweater weather anymore. That uh, escalated quickly. Got pretty warm pretty quick.
here in Crosby, Minnesota. And we go around the corner and it turns into Ironton on Highway 6. And I got a comment, what was it last week? They said, Josh, your Kenora Brainerd runs is like watching paint dry. Well, I appreciate you sitting here and watching it dry with me. Because you're still watching it. <laughs> I love it when comments like that come in. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, never mind. I thought he was... I thought he was bigger than that. I love all your comments, so please keep leaving me comments. I got a good chuckle out of them. And most of them are just fine. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> It's all, I always find it so funny when people complain about my complaining. So I complain about their complaining about my complaining and it just, it's like a, it's a snowball effect of complaining. But you do realize that you too are also complaining. <laughs> I do the same thing, don't worry. I do the same thing when I comment on other people's videos. But sometimes since I'm on this end, a lot of the time I'm, I'm on this end of reading comments, I catch myself. And I'm like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this guy wants the horn, you want the horn? Were you giving me the arm pump? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, were those kids giving me the arm pump too? Did I miss one? Did I miss one? I hope not. Or what were we saying? Yeah, I'm on this end of the comments, so sometimes I know what it feels like when people sort of come at you in the comments, right? I, I've been on the internet here for what, 11, 12 years? So, uh, I mean, there's, there's, it's something about being on the internet toughens you up, it thickens your skin. There's nothing that anyone can say to me or no names people can call me, no insults they can throw at me that haven't already been thrown at me. I mean, sometimes actually that's a lie. Sometimes there's a new one that comes through and I'm actually impressed. Like that, that's a new one. But it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, I'm, I'm on the internet. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. It says state law, stop for pedestrians within crosswalk. That's not a crosswalk. That would be jaywalking. And you would be impeding traffic by stopping for them. But anyway, yeah, I love all your comments. Even the ones complaining about me. You know, I do take those to heart because sometimes, you know, I sort of give a chuckle out of them and I, I agree with them. Like they complain about something I said or Josh, your, your vlog was like watching paint dry. And I look back and I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty bad. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> uh, the, the honest truth is that I, I can't always make every single day exciting. You know, I'm not always going back and forth between Kenora Brainerd, though I have been doing a lot of it lately. It's a really good run for me, and I like it. I like it as a route, but, you know, for content, I understand it gets a little monotonous, it gets a little bit repetitive. And I guess I, I guess I apologize for that. I mean, my vlog is real life, so I'm only showing you life through my eyes. Sometimes life gets a little bit repetitive. You know, hopefully I got a lot of life ahead of me yet, and there'll be a lot of different things in the future. I'm just a regular guy here, just showing you what I'm doing, showing you what I'm up to. I'm glad you're all here. You're all welcome to watch. I, uh, I'm sorry some days aren't as exciting as others, but, you know, it is what it is. Man, my windshield's dirty. Yikes. It's that time of day when you really start seeing it. So I'm just around the corner. I've got about 15 minutes to my destination. I will not be getting unloaded today. Uh, they went home an hour ago already. So we'll park at the gate and hopefully, hopefully we'll be the first ones in the gate in the morning. Get unloaded and be out of here at like 7.30, 8 o'clock. I have no plans for tomorrow yet. I have no uh, no load. I don't know if I'm just going home empty or if something will show up in the morning. We'll see. We are number one. 
So that gate will open at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go in there and start taking my tarps off. The door to the interior space will open up around 7 a.m. We'll get this freight off my trailer and we'll be ready for whatever's next, whatever that's gonna be. But that's in like 13 hours. 12 hours, let's do some math. Nope, 12 and a half, somewhere in there. So we got some time. So uh, because I'm paranoid, let's just go back and check here. Just in case. So we're going on a walk, why not? I've been losing weight. Have you guys noticed? I'm not sure if you could tell or not. It's not a lot. I've lost 11 pounds. We're still going for the highest score, the highest. I want to get down to uh, 180, 190. Under 200 would make me happy, but I'm shooting for 180 to 190. Uh, the heaviest weight I weighed myself in at was 228, almost 230 pounds. Isn't that crazy? I'm 5'10. That's big. That's obese. So, uh, I had to do something about it. I had to. So I've, I'm down now to 216 when I left on this trip. I guess that's more than 11 pounds. 216, well, 216 and a half. So I said 217. Yeah, 11 pounds. 11 pounds. There's all kinds of people messaging me right now. Okay, so we're gonna go for our walk. I'll uh, pull up my app here. I just use Google Fit track workout and it's gonna tell me where I am start walking oh it gives me a countdown three two one go trucker Josh go 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 all right here we go we're on our walk and this phone will not stop but dinging but ding 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 it's because I'm filming when I'm not filming, this phone is completely silent. So I turn the volume on so that I don't miss any important messages, right? Especially during the day, I need to hear if work calls me or, you know, if someone sends me a message from work or if my wife calls me, I want to hear it. So it's silent all day. I pick up the camera, start talking to you guys like this. That's what happens every single time. Quick, he's filming. Quick, he's filming. Ruin his shot. I've just started just leaving it in there. I just leave the notifications in the vlog. I used to always cut them out because they annoyed me so much. Now, they happen to, they, it's it's like the Matrix is just out to get me. So the way I beat the Matrix is, I just don't care. I just leave it in there, whatever. Try to ruin my shot, I don't care. I'll just keep talking. Kumaru. So this part of Brainerd, uh, the sidewalks are very grassy. Very grassy, no sidewalks. No paved sidewalks, just grass. It's a good thing I like grass. That's okay. So we're gonna go down to like the shopping center area, which is down the street. Walk about a half hour in this direction. And then I'm assuming it would be about a half hour back in this direction. It'll be an hour. That should equal out to close to three miles. I, th I think that's my usual three miles. We'll see. I've walked down the street before in springtime when I took my, one of my walks through town. It's either this or I walk down the main road which runs parallel over there and then there's no sidewalks. Just like here there's no sidewalk. I'm just sort of walking down the side. I'd rather walk down this street than down the busy street over there. Charming little town, though. nice and quiet. Birds chirping. Nice sort of little, I almost want to say vintage homes, but I don't think they're at that point yet. Character, they have character. Oof. This one needs a little upkeep. Does anyone live there? Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, there's a pathway. Hmm. Oh yeah, the light's on there. Someone lives there. Oops, now I feel weird. Ooh, sidewalk. Oh, that's nice. Nice boat. 
There's your sign again if you need one. You should be out on the lake. And we made it back. How about two and a half miles? Not too shabby. And that's it folks, we're gonna end it right here. First thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna be scooting through that gate. I'm gonna get this right off my trailer. Let's see what they got for us then. Take care everybody, drive safe out there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We make new videos every day. Some videos are better than others. Some days are more exciting than others. Stick around, tomorrow's a new one. We'll see what happens. Something, who knows? Anything could happen. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Also, if you want to take your support one step further, you can always click the join now button, become a member, get early access to my videos so you know what happens before other people. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just support us by leaving a comment down below. I appreciate that. I always go through them all. We'll see you tomorrow.